All right, guys. What's up? <laughs> um, we are cruising along through our month. It's crazy. I can't even believe it. Um, today is the 17th of January. So what does that even make us? You know, I think I should really should just pull this up before I start recording. But OK, 22 days for me, which is pretty awesome. Almost to 30. A week away from 30. That feels great. Um, today was good. I went to a friend's house and we worked on some product photography together. So um, that was really cool. They just came out great. I just finished editing them. And I really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of recording this early because I have to drive back down south. It takes me like an hour to an hour and a half to get to the other side of Austin if you drive at the wrong time, which I'm gonna be driving at the wrong time. Um, but my girlfriend and I are going to a sound bath, so that'll be fun. And um, yeah, that's kind of it for my day. Um, I listened to, um, I've been binging Colette Davenport's podcast called Let's Get Naked. It's on YouTube if you're interested and it's like, just she's a very she's like a very metaphysical person she calls herself a metaphysician and um love her I've worked with her she's amazing great coach like totally changed my life and anyways it's been great having this podcast now to listen to because it's like such a high frequency <laughs> vibration um but the guy she had on was talking a lot about like morning routines and um like I guess what it made me think about is like all the stuff um, that we do like cold plunges or waking up early or these things where we're like pushing against resistance are like a training ground for all the other areas of our, of our life. And so he was like, yeah, I've helped all these people start these amazing morning routines, but it's not the routine that they end up like, um, learning about or that like ends up being the game changer for them. It's like emotional, um, intelligence because they, um, wake up and have to understand how they feel. Like they have to, they have space kind of to process that now. And, um, and also it's, it seems like, uh, boundaries was like another thing you said that they they always learn and like saying no because like you end up really wanting to protect this time you've like created you're like I created this time for myself in the morning like I don't want the work and like other things intruding on it and anyways I just like it's been an interesting thing um for me realizing like sometimes it's not the thing that you do like um it's the overcoming resistance to do it. Does that make sense? So um, that's been interesting because I've been realizing that like there's only resistance if if it's good for you. Like all our vices, like we don't have any resistance to those. Like <laughs> um, they're easy to pick up. They're easy to do. So I don't know. Um, so that was a really cool podcast. Really enjoyed that. I'll link it up below because I think that it's a fantastic podcast. Um, and yeah, so I don't know, that kind of got me thinking about doing like maybe after this vlog, like an early morning, 30 days of vlogging early in the morning. Um, but I also like could totally use a break from vlogging. So I don't know, we'll see. But um, the other thing that I was thinking about today, aside from analyzing Taylor Swift songs, cause I totally was doing that as well today. <laughs> um, was shoot what was it I've been enjoying the heck out of some cream soda this month um goodness me sometimes thoughts just leave me you know let's just let's just disappear <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that's what it was. Okay. I have been running into like some serious self-development fatigue though, because like, and I think this is why, like, well, I say, I feel like I say this every day, but like, this is why I was using, this is why I was using, there's probably lots of reasons, obviously, but like, I feel like if I'm not, if when I am sober, I'm just throwing myself into self-development. Like it's the new addiction for sure. Um, and like, on the one hand, my life is so much better when I'm doing these things. Like, and that's why I feel like I always come back to them. But then on the other hand, like, I do get this fatigue where I'm like, okay, it's freaking all I'm thinking about. Like, it's all I'm doing. My hobbies aren't even real hobbies. They're just self-improvement hacks. <laughs> like, taking an ice bath isn't a hobby. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and, uh, yeah, so I've been kind of hitting this wall a little bit with, like, the self-improving. And then, like, a lot of stuff that I'm tapping into with like Colette's podcast, for example, and the Course in Miracles that I'm reading is like, we're doing ourselves a disservice by being in process with our healing all the time and trying to like heal and fix things because in actuality, we get a lot farther along. Like if we just recognize that we're already whole and like, um, so yeah, I've been like starting to feel like, what would I even do if I didn't fill so much of my time with journaling and meditating and this and that? And like, I don't know, it's hard. It's like, it's like, there's such a lifestyle. Like it is my lifestyle also. And I feel like they, it supports the rest of my life. But also sometimes it feels like it takes up so much space and time that it feels like that's the only thing I do all day. Um, and then, like, my work and creative work feels so tied up in that. Like, in some ways, like, all the content I create is kind of about this. And, like, a lot of my video ideas are self-improvement-y. And basically, I've been also, like, looking for a freaking book to read. And I can't settle on anything because I've read, like, everything. Like, I know how all the books go. And, like, how everything they're going to say about mindset and beliefs and, like, thoughts and actions and, like... It's really hard for me to find a self-development book that's new. And actually, like, I like the stuff that's more, like, moving away from. I'm almost becoming, like, anti-self-development. And that's not, not in the sense that, like, the stuff doesn't work or I don't do it. But, like, hmm. But I think we can get really trapped in the self-development world and like I almost want to like free up like free myself up a bit like I've done a lot of work to get to where I am and like I recently did a TikTok about how I healed from this trauma and like um you know this thing happened to me when I was 18 and my uncle cyber stalked me like really severely and it was like the darkest time of my life and Everything since then has been me trying to, like, heal that wound. Um, and, like, other just, like, regular <laughs> childhood wounds, you know, from, like, other kids at school or your parents or whatever. And even if you have great parents, which I do. Um, and, <sighs> shit, I'm losing my train of thought again. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, like, I did this TikTok recently where I was, like, I've kind of made it. Like, I don't think about my uncle at all. Like, I'm not hung up on him or justice or any of the things that I used to be hung up on. I think of, like, what happened as a total gift now because, like, it gave me this whole world of, um, like, it's given me everything, all this access to myself that maybe I would never have had to go get or, like had to excavate because, you know, if that hadn't happened. So, like, I truly see it as, like, a gift that it happened. Um, of course, not saying, like, you know, that it was, like, a good thing for a person to do to someone, but, like, I've just, like, forgiven him on, like, a much deeper level than I even thought was possible a few years ago. And, like... So there's this kind of like, oh, I think I'm here. Like, and that's funny because my word for the year is arrive. 
And so, like, in some ways, I'm like, oh, I've arrived. Like, I'm fucking making content every day. Like, I'm doing what I've been wanting to do forever. I'm, like, opening the channel that is my voice. And, like, I'm no longer blocked from, like, being online and being present and in front of people. And then, like, probably the only thing I haven't, like, that hasn't figured figured itself out is, like, finances. But, like, I... I'm at a point now where I know that's coming, like, because of the work I'm doing here, like, I fucking know it's coming, <laughs> and, like, I don't know, I'm just, like, doing, I just, like, I'm not in my own way at all anymore, okay, there's, like, a few areas, right, like, oh, there's, a f of course, there's gonna be things, but, like, but there are things that aren't necessarily helped by doing more work on myself, like, they're actually helped by sort of stepping back a little bit and like knowing I'm enough like I've arrived and just like enjoying the fact that I've arrived and playing in this playground that is my life you know and so yeah I guess that's what I wanted to offer up today is like um just kind of naming how I've been feeling about all that and like claiming that I want to like step into more of my more of the just like living the life that I saved, you know, um, for myself. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, I have to keep this on time, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here and publish. But, um, yeah, I'm super grateful for you guys and this vlog. Like I made a post the other day, um, where I screenshot a lot of your comments and put them all together for rainy days for me too but like it's so cool having you guys watch and leave comments and um feeling like doing this is, is meaningful to people so like I feel like that's and that was all over my chart it was like <laughs> yesterday at the astrology thing but like um it was all over my chart to like do this essentially like share my personal insights uh with the world um kind of as I go. So yeah, I just feel really, really grateful to be here. And I'm super like present and excited for like what's unfolding and glad you guys are here too. I think we're in for a, a dope ride. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you, I guess is what I want to say. And we are almost at day 30. Hang in there if, um, you know, if you're hanging in and I'll see you when I see you, which is tomorrow. Okay, bye.